mention the premium products. The core of our membership is obviously interested in the premium seating areas of the new venue. What types of products can we expect in your building? Well, we have all the, the typical offerings of suites and, you know, um, and lounges. And, but, but I think for us, it was about trying to bring different flavor and different uh, things to, to, that, to that suite of products. Think about, you know, what does this, what do these facilities do on game day, but what do they do every other day of the week? Um, again, anyone who knows Nashville, you know, honky tonks down on Broadway, certainly thinking at this stage about bringing some of that truly Nashville flavor to at least one of those big lounges, almost a thousand people in an environment, live music, you know, that, that Nashville feel, Nashville food, maybe another is more around a kind of sports facility, you know, a lot of big sports fans, a lot of big teams. And, and the reason we started in both of those two areas was that we also feel that Nashville is growing, there's lots of choices, but, but big venues in a, on a big scale for that type of thing are, are less you know, prevalent and, and perhaps that creates an opportunity on non-game days for us to utilize that space well. We're doing some very cool stuff on the concourses even for general admission, so not forgetting about the general fans and trying to bring, you know, I talked about the eclectic mix of people in Nashville. Uh, in some of our research, you know, a lot, one of the two consistent messages was about food. You know, people saying that, well, you know, I can come to your games and I, I like soccer, but, but, but maybe your choices, you know, maybe I'm not the burger and hot dog and Coke, you know, just Coke, drinking fan maybe i want something else so you know having the best hot chicken sandwich or the best burrito or the best pizza that's available around nashville and thinking about all these diverse and different cultures and their food needs and in some cases you know food demands around kosher food or halal food or trying to think about those but then trying to weave that into also into the experience so what do the concession stores look like and what's the mix of food and what music is going on you can't do anything in nashville without music so there will be music everywhere we have a sixty-eight thousand or so square foot plaza outside the stadium which we want to bring to life so so trying to weave all these different products together but ultimately for somebody looking to make a decision about coming to those games and making a choice that there is a choice for every pocket every palette you know every budget um and and that's really where we've designed it out is to look at having just a broad mix of different things ian tell me about your supporters groups what are their seating arrangements going to be in the building and how are they going to add to the experience of everyone coming to a game i would describe them as being like the energy plant of the stadium not only do they bring it to life they are the life certainly in my experience so we've been very fortunate that our usl team uh, which we're still operating today um, has pulled together a number of different supporters groups. And more recently, um, we've engaged as a club with them to help bring them together as a collective to, to form a single overarching kind of entity that will represent that supporting section of Nashville. So um, it's got a new name. They call themselves the Backline, uh, which is a great play on the music heritage, but also on the soccer heritage very exciting group fun to work with we have somebody on our team who's you know one of his sort of main purposes in life now is to manage that relationship and in terms of the stadium you know we've been talking to them about some of the functionality of the supporters section uh, it's going to be all standing with rail seating um, it's going to be you know he's going to have the right sort of capo stands and the ability of them put drums and all the good things to do TFOs to, and I think it's important, you know, we're, we're very fortunate because we start from a blank sheet of paper, as we've said, but, you know, and I came from a, more recently from a team that is 125 years old and it's kind of hard to change much. And we're not trying to change anything. We're trying to create things. And it's quite exciting to work with a group like that, who are as excited about us, about making the support for Nashville the best it can be. And so we have a very open mind. We have a very healthy dialogue. And, and, you know, we don't want to unveil too much, but we're doing some very cool stuff that we know will be unique to Nashville. 
and will be the sort of things that identify us across Major League Soccer and hopefully across global soccer with our supporters. Well, Ian, we'll get you out of here on this. I want to ask you in a very open-ended fashion, is there anything related to the team, anything related to the venue, anything that you prepared ahead of time that you want to share with our audience as it relates to your story? One of the things that's been really important for us is, is when you approach approaching designing a venue, um, I used a phrase that somebody much smarter than me told me many years ago, which was when you're building a venue for sports, you have to build it from the inside out. And what does that mean? It means that it can look pretty, and you know, and it can and it can have it can be shiny and, and great, but it has to work functionally. And so, what we tried to do from the outset was think about every use for this facility. You know, we expect to have concerts here. We expect to do stuff on non-game days. We expect our stadium to be a community asset that other people can use for other events at other times and do other great things for the community of Nashville. So we designed with that in mind and whether we are thinking about the functionality of a single lounge or thinking about the functionality of the whole, you know, whole environment, we've tried to think that far ahead. So small, what seem like small things, the ability to drive big trucks onto the field to put a lighting rig and a stage in for a concert, the, as well as having our locker rooms for our soccer teams having additional locker rooms to have multiple teams play in a tournament, having dressing rooms and green rooms for concerts, for artists, all part of the design. And, and I think that that type of thinking makes for a really exciting future when the venue really comes to life and, and Nashville Soccer Club comes to life. <laughs>